screen for once upon a time in every day. I mean, it would pro probably be fine, be fine here. It was a little bit easier in the red deck. It was playing green for once upon a time was a little bit easier in this deck because of Burning Tree Emissary. Burning Tree Emissary like gave you mana for once upon a time, and then like once upon a time also wants to help you find multiple Burning Tree Emissaries. So it was a little bit smoother to splash once upon a time here. This deck has like more permanent sources of devotion, so it's got fewer once upon a time hits. And we certainly don't have like a creature that's doing that. Secure the waste. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Probably not. I've seen a couple of people trying to cast that card and it's like not impressed me in this format. Your field opponents are just like going bigger. Rather play a Ballista, right? Oh, I'm facing the great Dokomoy, huh? Sand can make, if we drew a Nykthos, the sand could make five mana on turn four, or turn three, right? One, two, three, four. We could make four mana on turn three. If we drew a Gideon, we could turn three with this draw. We'll see. Who's Dokomoya? My opponent, main DK. Ooh, now I really want to draw Nyk uh, Nykthos. We could turn four big big Elspeth. Exactly play on birds. Agree with everything you just said. Oh Dokomoy's a, a Gabby mod? I trust Gabby. Mod him up. Yeah, right. Come on, Nick Thos. Come on, Nick Thos. <laughs> did people? You didn't want me to mod Dokumoy? You didn't want me to mod Dokumoy. You shouldn't have been talking him up. You all were like, ah, oh, the best. Such a good mod on other channels. This is a bummer. Could activate Castle. I think I want to crack the clue. Oh no, I can't quite activate Castle yet. I should be serving with both, huh? If they want to trade with Tracker, that's fine. Well, they don't anymore, Autumn Lily. They don't anymore. <laughs> That's why everyone was, was complaining. That's why everyone was sad. I'll take the damage. Yeah, the reason not to crack the clue on our turn is because then the tracker gets to smack me. Whereas this way they can't really attack because of the Spear of Hilliod. Yeah, that's a reason to play Avacyn. Come on, I'd still be happy to get Elspeth down a turn sooner. That's something. Yeah, I'm a breaking ball. 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 Yeah, I'm a bre
I think offering this trade's okay. This is worse. I was thinking Trophy would be fine, because Trophy like ensures they get the mana for Elspeth next turn. That's not what they had though. Yeah, just a little blown out, huh? Now the Field of the Dead is producing. Well, still can't Elspeth. Here we are in turn six of a can't Elspeth. I'm gonna crack the clue. I hope that's good for me. It was not. It was. It was not good for me. Uh, all right. But this is suppose. Autumn does indeed have good emotes. Is there a hidden stockpile deck? Ooh, that's one I haven't messed with. Hidden stockpile? I like that idea. You could play hidden stockpile, maybe four color, play with some Okos. Have a bunch of 1-1s one -ones laying around for Oko use. Crack a food, get a stockpile token. Yeah, I hope you had a good one, Autumn. Yeah, cat. Cat with hidden stockpile. Oh my. Oh my. I love it. Actually, let's take seven here. Keep our blockers around in case we want to go Elspeth down tick for tracker. Maybe we just want to up tick. Yeah, up ticking's better. Because right now, right now they can still attack and clear the Elspeth. By activating the Quagmire. So I just like traded Elspeth for Tracker. Whereas by uptick first, we get a bunch of tokens. And then maybe have enough blocking fuel. I don't know. We'll find out. They have double field going. I'm not really sure how we win at this point anyway. Once they get double field going. Feeling super dead. This uh, this matchup needs Elishnorn real bad, doesn't it? Clear, clear all the zombies, pump and board. Let's add some flyers. Let's add like a lot of flyers. Oh, shit, what up? Like some of these and some of these. And cut this and um, I'm gonna keep all Speth and Gideon around. I'm keep those around. Hey Zelzilla, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 14 months. Heck yeah. Zell says, I'm really good at people watching. I'm glad I can share that hobby with you. Nice. Nice. Let's cut Kytheon. It seems particularly bad. And Athalia's lieutenant and a marshal. And... A spear so I don't get blown out again. <laughs> so I don't get blown out again in mid-combat. Uh, maybe a ballista. Maybe two ballistas. Yeah, I wish if Elishorn was legal in Pioneer, this deck would make sense. This deck, this deck doesn't quite make sense right now.
Maybe I should have chosen to draw so that neither white or good was better. I guess I could skip a land drop. Another devotion payoff, yeah. Especially a high powered one. If I tried any of the turbo board X, I've not. Well, I tried putting something together, but it didn't work very well. I heard that new mod had some luck with turbo bore. Absolution. Absolution would be decent. I think Jeskai Fires are good in Pioneer. No. I do not. Wait, Finale. Yeah, that's an idea. It's a little sorcery speed. I should've just like played out my land, just assuming they would ramp for me, huh? What's up, Seth? Could've activated Nykthos here. For four, played Knight, got a land. Would that have been enough to play activate a Ballista? Nykthos is land number three, activate for four, minus two is Knight. I think that would've been enough. I think that was a better line. I think I just missed a Ballista Pump. I went through it in my head and it didn't seem like enough, but I guess it was. Don't play planes, play Nykthos. Two floating, yeah, it would have worked. I think I forgot that the hour, the night of the white orchid and mana. I forgot that it came into play untapped. I think when I was counting. Westvale Abbey is pretty scary, isn't it? Do you just want to flip Archangel? We could. Well, can they even flip the Westvale Abbey next turn? One land drop brings them up to four. And we can also Ballista in response, I need five creatures. I think I just want to play the Avacyn on their, on their turn. I think that's better. I don't think Elspeth does fucking anything here. Passage would get them there. Yeah, but even then I would be able to respond with Ballista on Rejuvenator, right? That's what I counted originally, the real Gibba. But I, I think it worked out. I think it would have worked out. Oh, maybe you're, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I was double counting a land afterwards. Hey, Jobless Streamer, thanks for the sub, thanks for the three months. Jobless says, oh wow, three months, thanks for the content. Time for me to go to sleep. Hey, good night, friend. Nido.
Field's a big part of the meta. Yeah, but it's not all black green field. It's not all black green field. And, uh, like, I think the, uh, what's the word? I think the Avens post board are a lot better against other versions of the stack. For sure. I don't see us winning this one, though. Maybe if we could add, like, a few more turns with Elspeth. If we draw the Nykthos sooner, maybe. Get the Elspeth down sooner, and we'd be, like, close to ulting. We're not really there. I think the black-green version of the deck has, like, enough ways of killing Mind Sensor. And they operate pretty well, even if they don't have field down. 